Welcome to the Giants Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do within the Giants franchise where we go over top prospects throughout the organization, from AA Richmond up to AAA Sacramento. And we are in AA Richmond to go over one of the top prospects in the organization, and that is outfielder Elliot Ramos. Ramos is a 20-year-old outfielder. He stands 6'1", 188 pounds. He's currently listed incorrectly in the game. I will change that. And Ramos was the 19th overall pick by the San Francisco Giants in the 2017 MLB Draft out of the Leadership Christian Academy in Puerto Rico. He was actually committed to play college baseball at Florida International, but he decided to not do that and go straight to minor league baseball with the Giants organization, obviously. He also comes from a very athletic family. He has two older brothers. He has one, Hector Ramos, who is the all-time leading scorer of the Puerto Rican national football team or soccer team, whatever you want to call it, Henry Ramos also a minor league baseball player. He was actually in our system last year. Not the greatest prospect. I think he was like a 26, 27 year old outfielder. We decided not to bring him back obviously, but he was in our organization last season. And as far as Elliot Ramos's ratings go, he is currently a 64 overall A potential. So to put it in simplest terms, he's going to be good. He's gonna be a good player for us. He's already got decent ratings. Both of his contacts and both of his powers are already above 50. He's a 20-year-old A potential, so those are going to continue to go up and go up quickly. He's got 52 vision, 68 discipline, so he's going to be a guy who's going to hit and he's going to get on base plenty. And he could legitimately be a number two or number three hitter in our major league lineup for years to come. And he's got 85 durability, so there is absolutely no need to worry about him staying healthy or being injury prone. He has just got no issues with that. He is on the field. He is out there to play every day. Ramos is decently fast. He's by no means Billy Hamilton. He's not going to be a, a quote-unquote base stealer in his career, but he's got like mid-60s speed, so he is a guy who is not going to have any problems getting around the bases or moving around the field. But with that being said, even though he is listed as a center fielder currently, he is more suited to be a corner outfielder, and that is where he slots to be at the major league level. He's got a 64 fielding, a 54 reaction. You don't want that type of ratings in center field. And I would say in-game that his arm is actually very underrated. He has a 61 arm strength and a 50 arm accuracy. MLB.com has him listed as a plus arm. So I'm probably going to edit that a bit. Not too much. I'm not going to go crazy with it. I'm not going to give him 99 arm strength. But I will probably tweak that a bit because if you have a plus arm, you're not going to have 61 arm strength in the game. Now looking at Ramos's future, MLB.com currently has his ETA as 2021. I'd probably agree with that because if you look at our current Major League outfield situation, it's not exactly good. Basically a bunch of stop gaps at the positions and a guy who's probably going to be a long-term fourth outfielder. Obviously Robbie Grossman is currently hurt, but he will be back eventually. He's only on a one-year deal. He probably won't be back. or I would say 1,000% is not going to be back next season. So Robbie Grossman... He's gone for 2021. Steven Duggar, current center fielder. Like I said, he's probably not a long-term starter. He's definitely a long-term player on the team, but I wouldn't say that he's like the, the solution in center field. I would probably say that he's more of a fourth outfielder unless he just has an insane season and starts hitting well. And then in right field, obviously, we have Carlos Gonzalez platooning with like someone who's not even a right fielder by trade in Tyler Austin. And Cargo is, of course, on a one-year deal, so just that's basically two guaranteed spots on the corner outfield that Ramos could take next year. And he is going to have every opportunity to be an everyday player in the big leagues for the 2021 season. He's still in AA at the moment, but there's like a 99.9% .9 chance that he's in AAA by season's end. I doubt he'll be up for September call-ups, he'll probably just be up to start the season next year. But one thing's for sure, and that is Elliot Ramos, along with Joey Bart, is the future of the San Francisco Giants. And with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the San Francisco Giants franchise, the prospect profile of outfielder Elliot Ramos. I've been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I am saying, Sharks, Canes, Stanley Cup, give it to me now.